Uh, hey everybody, um, I, welcome to Demo Days. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, this PlayStation, what, what, what you, what's the title of the demo, Joe? Uh, PlayStation Sampler 5.0. Yeah, so we're going to be playing the PlayStation Sampler 5.0, but um, Sony had actually asked us to read a warning uh, beforehand. And uh, starting now. Take immediate action. One. Locate the nearest PlayStation TM game console. Two, lock all doors and dis disconnect phone lines to avoid interruption. Three, insert this free disc and immerse yourself in a ton of playable demos. I didn't click on this, by the way. It just is like a demo reel of it. Uh, that wasn't the warning, Joe. Oh, and it's a warning. Potential side effects may include sudden outbursts of fun, fits of rage, and a habit-forming addiction. <laughs> In case of addiction, do not consult physician. Get more PlayStation games. So, uh... The first one's free. Warning provided by PlayStation. Whoa. Hey. Somebody's talking to us. Cool. Look at this. Um... Huh, dogs. Tom, Tom Brader... Madden. All right. Can we see the case? Okay. All right. So to get into the meat of it, so these are our games, and Joe just informed me of a special thing where if I hit one of the trigger buttons, we can flip that around. So apparently, you say there's something hidden behind one of these. Uh, I think at least a couple of them. Oh. Oh. Uh, what did? I'm just looking at the other ones too. I think if I you want. if you press them, it either triggers a hidden demo or or a hidden video. Okay. Oh, there's a Gex Two video. <gasps> All right. Okay. Colony Wars. Oh, this was a good demo. This is very cool. Okay. Or at least I remember it being very cool. Play a game. Go for it. Uh, from. I don't remember what studios made call Oh, Psygnosis, uh, who went on to be uh, Sony Liverpool, who made uh, Wipeout. Oh. I mean, they made Wipeout XL as Psygnosis. Oh. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. It's a, a Laura Cross rapper now? Uh huh. Oh. Looks better than Star Fox. Yeah. So it's a first person space exploring thing. Whoa. Barfy. Yeah, I cannot remember the controls. It's been Whoa. literally 20 goddamn years. Are you moving? This is like No Man's Sky. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, I think you can destroy all of these things with enough shots. Shot, 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 shot. You are shot, targeting shot. friendly craft. Oh. Uh, I think you can. It may result in the assumption that this craft is a Navy clone. Proceed with caution. I think you can eventually destroy it. Um, I would not... Your leak status has now been lost. All the craft have been ordered to regard this craft as a traitor vessel. Yeah, it's kind of a nerd game. Yeah, it's a it's a little nerdy. So apparently, kind of like No Man's Sky, like at long. <laughs> this is kind of an outdated <laughs> joke. I was going to say that it's unlikely that you'll run across somebody else, but it is possible with another <laughs> live player. <laughs> um, do you remember that E3? What was that E3 where the Call of Duty footage was like? Oh my God, is this a new Colony Wars? Was that? Um, oh yeah, it was a. Uh, yeah, it was that. It was a. Uh, what year was that? God damn. 2016, I think. Oh, yeah, because it was, yeah, with the uh, God of War demo, and it had that, yeah, Call I of died. Duty Call of Duty in Space, oh. 
No, I was, I was successful, I guess. <laughs> you were a success. <laughs> you got destroyed. <laughs> Mission complete. Mission complete. Commences November 97. Cool. Okay. You remember that, right? Yeah. You were how many months old? 72. Um, hmm. Somebody doesn't know how time works. <laughs> oh. Fighting Force. Fighting Force. Okay, fun fact about Fighting Force. Only video game that dad has completed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Not even Doom. Not even Doom. Not even Gloom. Yeah. I mean, he lives Gloom. Hmm. So... Why did he f- complete this one? Okay, uh, we got it on a rental. Uh, and then... Hawk. It's Seems a, like a dad game. Yeah. And uh, dad, Jess, and I sat around on a weekend and just played through Fighting Force. And it's, it's a really dumb beat, beat em up. Who was dad? I need to know. Um, well, let me pick a character first and you tell me if it was him. Uh, I think Dad was probably Mace, dude. That's actually, yeah. He <laughs> was the gal with the leather pants. <laughs> I knew it. Um, I'm guessing you were just the normal guy, and then Jess was probably the other girl? Uh, we only had two controllers at the time. Oh. Okay, you can pick up this rocket launcher thing, or this gun. Um, I was actually a hot pants gal. Oh. Who is Jess? Uh, well, I think we were taking turns. Oh. Whoa. Dude, <laughs> that's intense, man. I think, I'm not sure. Um, it was definitely published by IDOS. Um, but I think it was also another uh, core design joint. The, the Tomb Raider people. Yeah, it kind of looks like Tomb Raider. Um, I oh kind of think gosh. it looks better than those old PlayStation 1 Tomb Raiders. Yeah, probably. Yeah, can you do that in Tomb Raider? Like, beat up that limo. That's a nice running animation, huh? I remember being impressed because this seemed like kind of like arcade level graphics and and you can pick up those tires and interactivity something you would expect from uh, arcade games <laughs> you can actually be hit by cars I can't I don't remember if in the, in the game proper you can be hit by look whoa, whoa. Oh, yep there you go cool yeah do you actually have camera control no oh, okay that makes sense well, I think you can shoot through this gate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like GTA 3, man. Yeah. Come on. It's like out of missiles. Whoa, look at that. Actually, looking back, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Take this, Yaxa Six. It actually, <laughs> you say that now, it's like, oh my god, I see it. <laughs> secret of Onomichi. <laughs> this is the secret of Onomichi. <laughs> just getting, they, they're just getting like beat to death in a parking lot. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, cool. The black uh, screen of death. Oh, loading. Yeah. I remember it, it being a really fun time. And especially because Dad was playing. Jet Moto 2. Okay. Yeah. I, I never liked Jet Moto 2. I love Jet Moto 1. I think Jet Moto 2 is not that great. So, will you indulge me in... Uh, I want to play the snowboarding game. Do it. Cool Borders 2. 
it's it's about really cool people who stay with you in your um, boarding house. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Web, uh, web systems. Weep. Weep. A weem a whip. How am I indulging you again? Oh, I was just just cool. in even letting me play. Here we go. Unplayable. See? <laughs> <laughs> this game, unplayable. Unplayable. Oh, hey, it's hey. our motion comic on YouTube. <laughs> Ryuhime. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pan. Pan. Goo. Now loading. What's the goo mean? God, who knows? Yagi! Jin. Cindy. Irene. I kind of like Yagi. Yeah. <gasps> It's cool. Oh, you can change his pants? Yes. I want to just be a cool Yagi wearing a t-shirt, man. You know, I think red pants. That's in character. I'll nail it. Nice. You know, when was the last game with Yagi in it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they were going to get him for PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, but... Um, I, I think the deal just fell through. Yagi is too hot a property. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we joke, but Sony owns this shit. <laughs> Do they really own Cool Borders? Yeah. Dude, how sick would it have been if Yagi was in PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale? Cool. See, that would have been like the kind of deep cut that game needed. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Or I would. T-shirt. I would prefer Alundra, but you know. Well, do you have it all, baby? I mean, we all know that Yagi is Alundra's best right. friend. I think oh. you we should use the trigger buttons oh. mostly for sort of oh. so leaning. I've never liked snowboarding games. Um, like I don't like SSX at all. Have you played SSX? I've played like oh, SSX God. demos. Oh, okay. Never had any fun. Like I always liked Tony Hawk so much better. I agreed. I'm trying the triggers, but um, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. I can like jump. Oh man. I mean, it, this well, is a uh, this is a mess. <laughs> it looks good though. <laughs> I like that kind of like oh, jittery oh. effect that they're yeah, doing and super flickering. Yeah, like the the oh. geometry that isn't like yeah that isn't stitched together properly. <laughs> I mean, it's a demo. It might uh, get better by the final release here soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess just by the vir by virtue of there not being. A Cool borders <laughs> now that it didn't get better. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. I mean, it looks, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I would describe this game as definitely cool, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. <laughs> you know, this is a cool environment, just be snowboarding down. <laughs> Just a bunch of dead bodies at the bottom <laughs> of this <laughs> slope. Well, oh, yeah. It'd be cool, like a snowboarding game that left like uh, physical wounds on your body. Mm -hmm. Like just then when it like scraped the skin off of your face. Well, what was that one game like called Pain or something that was like, oh. we played the PS3 demo for? Oh, Which yeah. Which was just like basically it havoc just, physics. <laughs> yeah, you just fling your body at environments and see what you could destroy. And then it would destroy parts of you as well. That would be a cool snowboarding game. You know. Yeah. Then I went. It, in Soviet Russia, snowboarding destroys you. Coming soon. So, everybody stay tuned for Cool Borders 2. Um, it's coming out... 1997. 97, so put it on your calendars. Joe, did you want to play any? No. Yeah. Not even a little. Let's you see. You should play the Star Wars fighting game. The famously awesome 
Well, it says masters. You can't put the word masters in your title unless it's a master class game. Like getting a master's degree? Mm hmm. Masters of Terrace Gassy is um, a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not a Star Wars fan. Okay, this this will not change that. <laughs> okay, Chewbacca looks good. Uh, you can all, you can't. There's only like I a, can't be any of these, but get, no, I think you can only be those. The 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 figures that are darkened out, you can't be. I, I can't be Thok. Who, tell, Maybe so. Explain to me try, who Thok. Explain to me X. who Thok is. No idea. Probably from Return I of the Jedi. Thok. So I have to be. What the Thok are Arden. you talking about? I can't be Arden. I can be you, Arden Lynn or Han Solo. Yes. Or uh, Leia. Leia can you looks be Leia? good. In honor. Of, oh, I can. Oh. What about Luke? Oh, oh you Luke. It can be Luke. Oh. Lame. I'd rather be Leia, dude. Round one. Fight. Looks good. Am I fighting myself? Yes. How come he has a lightsaber? I think there's a button you can press to pull out your lightsaber. Dude, this is better than Soul Calibur. Oh, okay, I was just about to say is that when this came out, there was a lot of comparisons to Soul Calibur. I played it. Soul Calibur is... Or Soul Blade, let's say. Or, uh, yeah, Soul Blade. Um, Dude, on... look at how, like, long my arms are. Like, look at how got gross that arms. looks. I'm Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Okay, and I'm saying... I've never had such an easy victory. <laughs> Soul Blade is many, many, many times more awesome than fucking like Star this Wars. Sucks. What? What is going on? He's using force powers. Like this... Let okay. me get up. Try pressing a button to pull out a lightsaber. I don't know. I... Oh, hey. Hey, look at me. Can't catch me. I, I did me. play the final release on a rental, and it was just as lame as, <laughs> a, as this. And people actually, but did anybody like this? Um, no. I cannot pull but out like, a freaking there was... lightsaber. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I did. It was given... It was given a lot of leeway because of the license. Yeah. There were a lot of... A ton of terrible Star Wars games. 9 plus 3... D. Hmm. Arden Lynn. So what was this, like, movie in game? Was this, like, one of the, the bad movies? No, this was actually before the prequel trilogy. Oh. So, I mean, this was kind of in that, um... No Man's Land between... Um, Return of the Jedi in the 80s and then the um, prequel trilogy starting in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, was there, like, a lot of Star Wars excitement then, or was it... No, it was kind of like a light simmer. Huh? Yeah. Um, no, clearly not NFL. Yeah, I kind of want to watch this Gex 2 video, and I know the last time we thought maybe no videos, but... Let's do it. I don't know. Like, we're, we have, like, a, only a couple subscribers, where if they take their channel away, it's not like... Because <laughs> we played a Gex 2 documentary. Remember when I bought Gex 2? No. It was on P... Like, we were just looking for, like, an old crappy piece oh. of game to play. Yeah, okay, now like it I was, do. It was late yeah. one night, and, like, I yeah. had a few, and it's like, I just feel nostalgic. I would play something really bad, <laughs> and I bought Gex yeah, You too. certainly found it. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, oh, this is unplayable. <laughs> oh, cool. The, um... That makes me want to go play Gex 2. <laughs> we could. <laughs> I think it's on this PlayStation. Um... <laughs> Look, look forward to the Gex 2 playthrough. <laughs> yeah, the full playthrough. It's going to be uh, replace Suicone 2. Actually, we're just done with Suicone, so... <laughs> the, um... It's going to have a 100-episode Gex 2 playthrough. <laughs> so, Crystal Dynamics, before they went on to do, um... Soul Reaver. And, um... Tom Brader. Eventually Tom Brader. So 
Are they talking? Yeah, we have the volume really low, so we're not listening to any of this. It, you know, it's so oh, low, cool. low bit and garbled, I, they don't know either. <laughs> Gran Turismo video. Jet Moto 2. Intelligent Cube. What oh, is that? It's a like a puzzle game? Puzzle platforming sort of thing? We'll um, check it out. Yeah, sure. I remember thinking, it's like, yeah, that's that's a thing. I only want to play in demo form. <laughs> I can I can't imagine ever actually spending real money on. Oh, it's another Sony Computer Entertainment joint. Are all of these? No, not all of them. Not Tomb Raider, I guess. Not yeah, not um, Gex. Yeah. Poor so Gex. Sony has been like making mistakes all along. <laughs> <laughs> It's intelligent game, intelligent cube, and Days Gone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Days Gone. Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two. <laughs> Has a proud history of <laughs> wasting money. Okay, Ooh. so Whoa. watch out. Oh my god. So click on the green cube. I think. Yeah. Oh, this shows what I fucking know. I don't. Oof. There's, there's, survive. oh really, there's, it's a, sort of about laying down the, like, laying down traps Whoa. for cubes. I don't, oh, what? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, what am I looking at? Wow. It's kind of the prequel to Eco. This is somebody's favorite game. You know what? Uh, like, I bet this game will be on the PlayStation Classic when it comes out. <laughs> I bet they could <laughs> fill it out with <laughs> IQ Zero. Oh. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. I'm the stupid one. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the let's player on YouTube, the stupid one. Yeah, I'm the dummy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Tell it to me. Yeah, you think that's the best marketing strategy, just to insult the person who just played your demo and like with no guidance or instruction given, and I just die, and they're like. So you don't even chart on IQ. You are a, a zero. If there could be negative IQ, you that would be you. It it's worked a, for Demon Souls. <laughs> uh, yeah. Try the Tomb Raider demo. I remember it's my most positive experience with any part of the Tomb Raider franchise was this demo. Okay. Do you want to play it? No. Okay. Not even a little. Starring Lara Croft. Oh, in that case, <laughs> then no. Excuse me, did you say Laura Croft? Oh, it's Laura. 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 <laughs> Good eye. Good eye. It's kind of funny, isn't it? In, in a, <laughs> it's a koala. I'm stuck in the darkness. Um, I can't see in the light. Right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> even, <laughs> even back in the day, it was what? a pain in the ass to control. I kind of remember this demo. Is it like a tiger? Eventually. I think you have to... I, I remember this water a lot. Yeah. This is like one of my first kind of gaming memories even. Just like the Tomb Raider demo with water and... Yeah. I couldn't climb up. I couldn't figure out how to climb up stuff. Yeah, I think you, you have to hit one of the trigger buttons to actually control how um, to grab. Like, it doesn't auto grab. Like Laura controls so bad. It's X. Okay, X to grab. Never mind. And then up, get up. Yeah. Good up. Oop. <laughs> and what is this over here? Water. No, but I thought I saw a pink thing. Uh, no. Oh yeah. Oh, what the fuck? It's a tiger. It's a fucking tiger. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you doing? This seems this seems wrong to gun down a tiger. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, there's only like twelve of you left. <laughs> Let me kill you. Because Ooh. I want. I'm, I'm making treasure. lights. Hey, tiger. 
you have infinite ammo? I think so. Whoa, we're swimming. Or at least out. infinite uh, handgun ammo. <laughs> or just, just <laughs> drowning yourself. <laughs> um, I think later in this demo you can, can get a shotgun. Cool. Uh, which has finite ammo. As in it's fine. It's an attractive night. It's a fine night. Gah! Gah, this is hard to control. Gah! Oh no! Laura! <laughs> Laura! <laughs> no, Laura! Don't have the call to adventure, Laura! <laughs> I'm just too adventurous! <laughs> That's my flaw! <laughs> Her character flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too good at tomb raiding. <laughs> Poor Lara uh, Croft. <laughs> she looks good doing it. And that's all the that count. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it, what I like most about these old oh, Lara, no. <laughs> okay, what I liked about most about these <laughs> old <God. laughs> De dead. Uh, the old Tomb Raiders that they were a lot about like puzzling and platforming mm -hmm. which I would prefer and know. obviously it's very good at both <laughs> I like that that was the focus you know mm -hmm. w we played that uh, Tomb Raider reboot together yeah. and it was mostly about you know, shooting dudes it yeah. kind of felt like they would lost the thread Armacore. oh Armacore that's a From Software thing before they got good. <laughs> got, got good. Yeah. I don't know. Give it a go. Give it a go. And so. then we'll, let's call it, a, call, okay. it, call it a day. Armored core. You know, I actually wouldn't be surprised if an armored core game made it on the PlayStation oh my God. Classic. Arm Sony Computer Entertainment had the trademark to armored core. Oh. Interesting. Uh, it's now loading Jacob. I see that. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents Armored Core. Armored Core. Scenario mode. We're gonna go new game. Our pilot's name is... Quud. <laughs> 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 Quite. Quitter. <laughs> Quitter. We're going to the Raven's Nest. Raven Nest. Um, we're gonna select our mission. I think you could uh, customize your Mac, which I remember thinking was kind of a revelation. We're gonna go to the garage and customize our Mac. We're gonna. Change your color. Yeah. I spent an embarrassing amount of time just like messing with the color options. We're just gonna be bright. Oh. <laughs> no, we're just gonna be bright pink body. Do it. We're gonna just change your pattern to woodland. Oh, whoa, gross. Looks like a barf. <laughs> Four frost. Sounds, just, sounds insulting. I actually like Duck Hunter. Duck Hunter. Happy, happy, happy. Man, <laughs> ducks don't have a stand a chance against this giant mech. <laughs> Has a duck call. <laughs> yeah, I just become like one of the Duck Dynasty guys. <laughs> duck Dynasty mechs. Yeah, it's like they, they introduce the new Duck Dynasty character and it's just a big robot. <laughs> Oh. What shenanigans are we going to get into this time? <laughs> <laughs> Giant mech. <laughs> they're going out duck hunting. Looks like they're, Silent Hill monsters. They're going out duck hunting. And it just goes to the perspective of the robot. And it has like a little beep center, sensor that goes out. And it senses all the ducks in a 50 mile radius. And it just like... <laughs> Rocket. Yeah, rocket. <laughs> um, 
Where? I always find these games really boring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a lot of just like walking through a big warehouse and shooting robots. It's like Mega Man Legends boring. Oh, man. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this may be a little cool. Well, it's a little bit like it, right? <laughs> it's I mean, no, it's, like a, it's a third person game on the PlayStation 1. Where you're walking around with behind the camp, behind your character, shooting stuff in like weird architecture as a robot. Okay, this is garbagey. Mega Man Legends what? is fucking amazing. This is not garbagey, this is awesome. Yeah, like that's how you meant it before. <laughs> yeah, and how awesome! I Mega meant Man it. Was. I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> Strafe, you ass. How? <laughs> yeah, RNL. Oh, there. there. Did you play Mega Man Legends? <laughs> yeah, this actually controls better than Mega Man Legends. Oh, though, because you can actually what? Uh, hold down the trigger and strafe like. Uh, oh my god, it does do auto lock as you're moving. Yeah. Oh my god. This is like Ratchet and Clank kind of stuff. Oh. Uh, so it's better. Hmm. Are you, are, are, is it starting to dawn on you that these games are actually better than... Uh, no, I'm games? just so insulted I don't even have words. <laughs> um... Like, what is a civilization that would build, like, just this big room? And put a bunch of robots in it. Um, like that's a, that's a lot of expendable income for like. Shoot, I'm like out of what is it, What is the practical concern here? Um, building robots and letting them fight in a big metal room. Yeah, like who, who's paying the electrical bill for all these lights along the wall? Uh, that's really cheap in comparison to the electrical bill for the giant robots. <laughs> Too sure. <laughs> Nice. Well, I'm like out of ammo, basically. I went fast. Oh, cool! I can actually look up and down. You can probably could you do that in Mega Man Legends? Yes, but I think you have to be standing still. Not in this. Okay, it says you have sm you have a bunch of small missiles. Yeah, but like there's nobody to shoot. I thought there was a dude. There's dudes. There's a dude-like entity shooting you. Come on. I don't know how. Okay, fine. Press a button. Make something happen. Make a sword. Target ah. achieved. Target achieved. Will this be the first demo that I beat? It happened. Income and expense report. Okay, let's uh, let's call Sony. Let's get all those credits. Yeah, support the channel. Well, there was like a helpline, right? On this, uh, maybe it was on the disc. There was like a call this number for tips and tricks, and they'll charge you a dollar a minute. Yeah. Um, mail. Oh, mail. Oh no. System. Oh. Job? Yes. Sell. Sell everything. <laughs> You're just like a little naked guy <laughs> running around and getting stomped on by robots. <laughs> yeah. It's like once you... What is the <laughs> the robot when you strip the whole the robot away? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no parts to sell. What happens now? Can I go check out that other mission that I've sold everything? Oh, oh. a town? No, I think it's just an, an oh. uh, exterior environment. Your equipment is incomplete. Oh, yeah, you're going to... Hmm. You don't have a core part. Dang, really? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's just um, do a head. <laughs> Let's just subject our viewers to us, like, spending a lot of time no. in menus. <laughs> if they wanted to see this, they'd watch us play Sui Coden. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching us uh, on this uh, demo, demo days. days. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Adios.